You know, when I was thinking about the shortstop position, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a shortstop someday. Only lack of talent stopped me from going there. But, you know, I watched guys, and the, and the evolution of the position really was in the 40s, 50s. He talked about Pee Wee Reese, Phil Rizzuto. It got into the 60s. I remember I admired Rico Petroselli. He was the first guy with really some power, hit 40 home runs in 69. But as the position started to change, Belanger, who you watched, of course, in mm -hmm. Baltimore, uh, it started to have an occasional power hit. Hitter. It really wasn't to the 80s till your brother Junior came that he really started to define the position. And all those guys in the 90s, from Garcia Parra to A Rod to others, uh, were there because of the result of your brother. They wanted to uh, emulate how he played the game. But I think what we have now, and correct me if I'm wrong, we have just a, a great motley crew of guys who can hit for power, uh, guys at like Glendor who can steal and have a fast game. And I think really the reason it starts that way is because. One of the best players at a young age, Carlos Correa, is going to define the position again, which happens at shortstop. Yeah, and, and, and Motley, not in a bad no. way. You know, it's a collection of guys. Right. But when you talk about these guys and you talk about Correa running, I mean, there's a guy with size, power, speed. He's got everything rolled up into one. Lindor certainly made a splash this year, pushed Correa all the way to the end on the rookie of the, the year voting. And, and Bogart's in Boston, really came on to me in a big, big way, didn't hit that many home runs, but drove in a boatload of runs. That tells me that this kid knows how to hit when men are out there on a the base, and I still think there's an art to that. So when you look at these three guys, it, it takes me back to those days when you said Junior was in the mix. Here's young Junior right there. He was swinging it, making some nice uh, plays at shortstop, had the ability to do some things maybe like no other at his time, and A-Rod certainly gave him some recognition for paving the way for a bigger type shortstop. 6'3", six, 6'4", six, there A-Rod showing a Correa-like move that we saw earlier with the diving get up certainly leads me into the captain Derek Jeter once again not the biggest of guys but it's 6 3 that's not your small shortstop and what you're thinking about and then it takes me when I did the number one shortstop show or I did the shortstop show I put this guy up at the top and he's kind of a hybrid of all of them put together a left hand hitter a little bit different as far as the shortstop position is concerned I think he's stockier, maybe a little bit more stout. I don't think you would actually look at him and say, oh, that's the best athlete, but he does very athletic things. And I did my qualifications on my shortstop list, especially as a defender. Bases loaded, two outs, one run lead game seven. Who do I want the ground ball hit to right now? No matter where it is, yeah. there, there, or Adam, and I picked Brandon Crawford. I like what he did at home plate. I think he's going to continually rise up, but I think those young players, they might have more of a higher ceiling than Crawford, but right now, I'd take Crawford as my number one guy. Let me put you on the spot just a little bit, not to name names, but just give me your checklist, right, of like the prototypical shortstop. Like, what are you kind of looking for if you're well, building a Frankenstein of shortstops? Look, when I first came up to the big leagues, I stood over there at second base, and the guy standing here was Cal yeah. and what Cal did didn't he didn't get recognition for being able to make plays for some reason but yet every year he led the league in assist and put outs okay was he smart yeah I'll give it to him okay so I'll take a big smart guy that knows how to make the play and make the play every single time it's funny because we get excited nightly on the desk we see a great play and we put that one here's the play of the day I'd rather not see my shortstop ever on that list. I like to see him in front of balls, and I want to see him catch every ball and make every play that he should make. You know what happens to these bigger shortstops sometimes? I don't know if you agree with me. Sometimes they, they lose how much athleticism they have because they're such big-bodied guys. We like the little guy that kind of scoots around. But I think what, the, what we see right now at the shortstop position, big and small, tons of talent.